Hello, humans. Master Dinner Flex here, bringing you the low quality content you deserve. And today, I will be doing a ban list prediction. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you know for a fact I am always 100% right about everything. And because of that, I give completely perfect ban list predictions. Like, I, I, you can go back and watch all my videos and I'm always right. So, uh, now that we got that out of the way, let's get in to this ban list. Now, a lot of people are expecting a big ban list, but in reality, we're already in a new format. The Power of the Elements created itself. So they don't really need to make a ban list that does a lot, but let's just get into it. Um... First off, we got the bans. Now, I know for a fact everyone wants Winda banned. We thought it was Schism because, you know, uh, it's the one that cheeses out. But in reality, the fact that Winda just takes a dark and a shadal means it will always be uh, easy to cheese out. And there will never not be that. But I am gender inclusive, so we're also going to ban Windar. Uh, I don't think it would be fair for just Winda alone to get banned. Uh, that's pretty misogynist, I think. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and ban Windar as well. Now, for the other ban, we're going to ban Red Reboot. Now, uh, I know a lot of people like to point that, uh, Red Reboot stops floodgates. That's not what it does. Not only is it itself a floodgate, but it's just a toxic, sacky card for people who, uh, have literally never learned how to play through traps before. But in addition, a much more important thing to remember is that the Blue Man group and the Sky are getting their own reboots. So Blue Man, uh, they're going through like a design change. And in addition, uh, Konami is changing the Sky itself by emitting a lot more greenhouse gases. So because these two blues are getting reboot, we need to get rid of Red Reboot. And also fuck Red Reboot. Um, next. For Mystic Mine... Uh, as you can guess, it's actually going to go to 4 in the TCG. And not only is it going to go to 4, uh, the TCG is also going to give it diplomatic immunity, which means it's immune to removal. Because the biggest thing they really like is watching their features matches boil down to just uh, draw, pass, draw, pass, draw, pass. They're, they actually like that so much, they basically want to rewrite Yu-Gi-Oh! to that being the game. Whoever, has, whoever drops the Mystic Mind first will just win the game. Um, and now that they're going to give it immunity, meaning it can't be removed, now we now that's like the feature matches we get to work with, which is pretty cool. Now, for the limits, uh, I think they're going to take after another dragon for this one. They're going to limit Chaos Ruler. Now, you might think that doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever, but they did it to Shooting Riser Dragon, and uh, we all noticed, which means they're going to do it the same here. Um, yeah. Now... For the semi limits, I know it's banned to use semi limits, but uh, I think Ash Blossom should be semi limited mainly because she has two eyes, two ears, and two feet, but she's at three. That doesn't make any sense, so let's just put it to two. Uh, oh, I forgot. We also need to ban Winda. And then finally, most importantly, <laughs> an actual thing I want to say uh, get rid of this card. Um, I, the OCG has, the OCG is designed in a way where they want to make every deck viable, not under the realization that in order to keep everything viable, you're basically just making a mounting pile of bullshit that actually makes other decks people want to play in viable because of how broken they are. Right? The entire adventurer package has boiled down to the game to a horrible state where hand traps are not good against decks, traps are not good against decks, and the player who goes first just has such an unfair advantage to the point where even if you want to combo or board break, it won't matter because they've established their floodgate. So basically what has happened is the player going first with this engine will always be in such an unfair advantage, and any format you see these cards being played is always worse than anything else. They ruin any format they're introduced in. M Master Duel was already in a weird spot, but once it, this got introduced, it was just f fucking unplayable, intolerable. Like, it's not even fun to try to do goofy gimmick shit because this horse shit exists. This 
engine is not good for the game from any direction you look at it. So, while I don't think they'll ever... They will do everything in their power to not ban this. The best solution will always be to ban this card. And it will not be anything else. But now... Now we got this. As you can see from this ban list, I, I, I've pretty much covered all the bases of what I think they're going to do. And it's not that what I think they're going to do. They're going to do this because I'm always right. So, yep, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. And remember, Master Dinnerflex will take your soul.